Okay. Um, should I do introduction first? Or? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm here with the Restorations, one of my favorite bands on the lineup. If you haven't checked out the latest album, LP2, it's awesome. Go check it out. Like, hey guys, how are you doing? Great, man. Thank you. Yeah. Like, um, we're just talking about it. Your set was killer. Like, how how did you how can you bring such energy and such like, and so this early in the morning, yeah. if you're not having fun, then what are you doing out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, we get to, we got, you know, people brought us to Belgium, so it's a okay. uh, real privilege. It's not, but it was like really early in the morning. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, uh, we've never been here before, so to play to anybody at all is a bit of a privilege. So to play to uh, however many people that was, it's just awesome. It's so cool. I keep a spare stash of fun in my guitar case. <laughs> Though it was early, I was a little tired. I opened up my guitar because I was like, "Oh, there's yeah. the fun." I caught, I caught a whiff of it. The real like, answer is like yeah. four oh, cups man. of coffee. So four cups of coffee is the way. Uh, yeah. Super <laughs> uh, Like I saw like the Menzingers at the side of your stage. Like how did it feel like you have these three rock star guys? At the <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a buddy. It's a joke. It's a running joke. Yeah, okay. So that your buddies like you. Yeah, 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 good friend. Old friends of ours. Known them for a long time. Um, we had a. I think we were leaving. Like we had one day to leave, and I like sent a message to Eric to see if he wanted to get a cup of coffee. And um, he was just like, "I can't, man. I'm sorry. I'll like I'll see you tomorrow or something." It's like the people that we hang out with on a regular basis. So roughly on like the same street, basically. Oh really? Yeah. Philly's really funny. Everybody's sort of all the same like area. It's a couple of miles, and it's everyone lives there. All the venues are there. It's great. Philly's really easy to get to. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, um, I had to miss it to um, do some stuff, but um, can you describe how crazy Truck Prefest was yesterday? Oh, Prefest is awesome. Prefest is cool because that was a little bit more like our size venue. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a little bit more comfortable with some friends. Uh, we really like Game Face and uh, yeah. the FOD and Campus are cool. Um, really? okay. It's just nice to play like a diverse show in you know, a uh, small room. It was cool. Yeah, I had a really good curry. Like, yesterday yeah. was, oh, yeah. was, was really slim and it was good cool. food. Was Which is a good vibe. Beers and then, uh, Everybody Duval. was really cool. Oh, yeah. Duval all day. Oh, yeah, yeah man. I wasn't yeah. expecting the crowd to be so positive. It was a really nice experience to kind of just get up and play and have that warm up reception. Just cool. to not know what to expect and then get something great. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really cool. Yeah, I think like Belgium is out of all the shows. Fuck our band. I was, maybe I should ask something about the curry, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, okay. uh, you guys had your first mosh pyramid on this tour. Like, yes! What the fuck is a mosh pyramid? Well, I'd never seen it. I thought something had happened. <laughs> and so we were, in, we were playing Paris. Paris, France in an Italian restaurant. Okay. The Italian restaurant? In, in Paris, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, And uh, we're playing Indian. Yeah, Indian Italian restaurant. And uh, we're playing, and the front row just hits the floor. And we're like, what has happened? Everyone's toast. And then people started climbing on top of them. And then Zach from Ostapai dove off the top of the pyramid. Oh, wow. I'd never seen that before. They're like, oh, they do that all the time here. We're like, Zach, all right. Six foot five. Yeah, right. In a, like, a seven foot tall venue. You know? yeah, pretty entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. There is, but not of the pyramid, I don't think. That was, a, that was a good first. Yeah. Okay, maybe we, uh, yeah, maybe we can do it over here. Too, <laughs> too late, too late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, how was it like touring with the Smith Street band? Like, uh, one of my great. personal favorites. It's our second run with them. They took us to Australia yeah. a couple years ago. And, uh, we had such a good time. They toured with our friends. We've seen them in the States. Um, it's just really easy with those guys because it's just familiar with territory. Like, we know them really well. We really like their band. It's their family. Yeah, they're basically family. Just when they travel the same way that we do for the most part, so it's like very easy to sort of get organized and be with them on a tour. It's a really good thing to have. And Ostapai too. We've known them for a long time. And they, were, um, when our old band had come over here before, they were very helpful. I worked for a label in Philadelphia that put out their old stuff, and uh, I've known them for a long time. And it's sort of the same vibe. It's just like. You're, they're sort of one step ahead of you with helping to set up and move oh, things around. Yeah. Just a big, just one big machine on the road. Friends, uh, so it makes the shows really easy because everyone's sort of helping each other out. It's nice to meet new people, and it's really cool yeah. to meet new bands, new bands. But the feeling again, starting a tour, knowing that you already know every single person on a three-band tour package. You're, it's not even like you're acquainted. You're friends. You've known each other for years. It's so cool. It's yeah. very relaxing. Like touring with that one. Yeah. Exactly. Without all the arguments. Yeah, without all the arguments. <laughs> uh, not all the arguments. 
Never? No, it's been good. It's pretty easy. No, not yet. Not yet? Okay. We're from Philly, we're a pretty straight bunch. We kind of <laughs> let everybody have it as we go. So, are you guys, like, maybe one of you guys, is there someone like always makes arguments about small stuff? Like, no. Not really, no. If basically somebody's fucking up, we let them know, and that's kind of. There's no, we don't have any big, like, there's no, like, built up beef over time in the van or anything. It's just like that. My thing is, this is the way that we do. You got a problem. Yeah. 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 If, if you're worried about something, make it known. Yeah. Don't keep it inside. If I'm doing something that you don't like, tell me. Like, uh, can you give us like the biggest gossip on the Smith Street band or one of the other oh, bands? Man. Sure. <laughs> what do we? What do we got? Like, we're meeting them tomorrow and we're asking them the same question. So. Oh. If, if you're too nice, Wait, so what is the question? The, the biggest dirt we have. Yeah, on gossip on the Smith I can't, I can't dish out the biggest dirt I have on them. Yeah. Um, I know, I know. No, I can't. No, no, no. Guys. no. Uh, uh, ask them about their dirt and tell them we said we didn't want to say that. Okay. Give Not even as, as no. no I'll, say, I'll say two words. Yeah. Lee Hartney. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lee Hartney. Hartney. Okay, all right, we can go with that. Yeah, one. Lee Hartney's good. Just say Lee Hartney. And uh, Will Snores. Yeah, Will Snores. I don't understand. <laughs> it's okay, I'll ask you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, how have things changed for you guys since uh, LP2? LP2, like, the, um, that album has been received very well. Night and day, it's been really crazy. Yeah. The shows have been much better. Yeah. It's strange, like, going yeah. places that people know you. <laughs> Or, like, people come to your show and know the words. It's just, uh, it's we were here after LP1. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, it's more or less like, we're, like we, for the longest time, it toured. And play in our old bands, and it played to no one, and kind of had things go poorly for the better part of the last 10, 15 years. And then all of a sudden, you put out one record in the band that you didn't want to tour with. Because okay. like, we were a project band for a long time, we didn't tour, we didn't, we didn't do anything. Up until maybe the AB 7 inch, I think, was the first thing we put out that we actually toured on. Um, and so to put out a record and then have like everything kind of go really well, and our shows are well attended, and the press has been good. So it's been very fast and kind of overwhelming, but. Having a good time with it? Are you thinking about keeping this project then? Or maybe. No, nah, we're in too deep now. Ah, okay. go, go, go. We're a real band now. That's it's good. Too late. <laughs> like, did you have other different projects before? Yeah, so Dave and I were in a band together. Dan and the drummer had been in the uh, band together. Ben had been in the series of other bands. So. Okay. Just a bunch of small Philly bands. Nothing, small Philly bands. Nothing too notable. But um, yeah, we'd all sort of been around the world and done, a, done it, you know, and uh, kind of came home. We're like, I just want to do something and play like the this is bar. And we're like, just play there, it'd be great. Okay. And uh, yeah, here we are. In Belgium. Yes, you are, man. Big rock stars. Uh, this is my fourth European tour. I've never been to Gross Rock. Uh, I think we played to more people today than you played to the entire time. Uh, accumulated tour. throughout my whole life. <laughs> So it's very exciting and fun for us, but it's just it's so much bigger than we're used to. Okay, cool. Um, uh, how do you like it here in Cruise Rock? Is it your new favorite festival? Oh my god. I love the way this festival is organized. Yeah, it's very professional. It's very professional. It's very clean and just um, well thought out. There's a lot of things that they consider that you don't think about until you get to the venue and you're like, oh fuck, but it's just like, they're like, here's a cup of coffee, sound checks in 10 minutes, like, what do you need? And we're like, this is, this is a drummer. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Well, like they like they would just like brought out like a set of amps. They're like just pick whatever ones you want. It's a really nice time. Now you know how the best is. Yes, it literally every day. Um, like you have guys have a real special sound, not the classic punk rock you say. Um, I, I tried, but I can't really put a label on your music. You could create your own label for your music. Like what it means. No, we feel more influenced by like Fugazi and uh, like 90s post hardcore and that kind of stuff. Punk in the traditional sense, as far as like DC punk goes and Philadelphia punk, uh, you know, it's pretty not, it's a pretty broad genre, but uh, we feel like a punk band. I don't know how it comes off in the sound, but uh, that's where we're from and where we want to keep the band in that direction. So. Yeah, but yeah, like rough punk and punk punk. Yeah, post rock and stoner metal. And yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep it at punk rock. Yeah, punk rock seems yeah, it, that's the most okay, cool. yeah, at home that we feel. We're not a punk band. We're a punk band. Yeah. Okay, LP3 is on its way. Yes. Um, 
Are you guys ever going to give your album like the kick ass title? Or... No way. Oh, oh, dude, no. The fourth one's going to be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> four? It's so good. Well, we're going to we're gonna name this one LP. Title. We're going to name this one LP4, the search for LP3. Uh, search for LP3. Uh, yeah, LP3. Yeah, but we decided not to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like having it in the catalog because we have like a very limited amount of time to write a record, so it's kind of like this batch of songs, and this is that. And it's, um, Do you actually have like EP1 and EP2? Or we just have one EP, so we never got to it. Okay. We actually titled the EP. Yeah. No Strange Behavior is the EP. Oh. We've had a bunch of 45s and a split. Yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, now we're, now we're screwed. If we get to 10 records, we'll name the 10 something. Yeah. I'll give it like LP10. LP11. <laughs> This LP10 goes to 11. Yeah, yeah. This go. LP10 goes to 11. That's good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, uh, but I really want to get some comments on the song title. Sure. Like, um, like, why would you call it uh, just the song D? Like, just uh, it so we had done the A, B, 7 inch. And then we're like, oh, we gotta start the next record with C. And we're like, that's stupid, let's do it with D. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. Okay. We said, that's okay, that's so that gives you a window into our band. Okay. There, there was a C. Yeah, C wasn't very good, so we no, cut it. C wasn't good. It's like, we'll go with D. Maybe release it as a, like a special edition. Yeah, it's a C size. It's a C size. Yeah. Oh, too many bad jokes. It's too early on. Is it, yeah, yeah. Is it too many? Yeah. Okay, C size. Like, uh, blow up his stuff. Oh, it was really hot for a long time. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was really, really, really hot. It was, that summer was yeah, fucking insane. So, I, so we were like writing and recording. We have a small, unventilated uh, practice space with like a tiny air conditioner that doesn't work. And it was just kind of like, you would have to practice the door open and piss off the neighbor. It was disgusting. So we like, were writing a lot and then we recorded it. Uh, well, to tour or whatever. So it's not like you guys have uh, hidden ambitions to become a super villain. Yeah, yeah, no, no designs. No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Something. We're not actually gonna blow up. We're not actually gonna blow up. So. Okay. Cool. Not any. You can't say it on camera. Huh? You can't say it on camera anyway. What up? So man, how you doing? Uh, okay, that's my last question. Sure. Back to the super villain thing. Like, if you could be a super villain, what power have you made with you? Oh, to blow up the sun. That's yeah. how let's blow up the sun guy. That would be good. Yeah, that's it. Explode the sun guy. Because once you do it, then you're. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm done. It's not even like you're a super villain, you just have a goal. Right. Once you're done, you can be a villain. It's good. It's short career. You retire. <laughs> yeah, you retire early. It's a great career. Go to the beach, soak up nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was my last question.